Yeah, viewers, yeah, subscribers. This is New Link Production and viewers and sub. Today, New Link has been into this topic, people, because this is about the top gang in Westmoreland and the police have been demolishing this gang people because this is the Desta Street gang people and this gang is one of the top gangs in Jamaica. But right now, people, most of those gang members have been captured, but the police said they only need six more viewers and sub. So viewers and sub, let New Link get into this thing about this gang. Detectives from the counterterrorism and organized crime, CTAC, branch of the Jamaica Constabulary Force, JCF, say they have made a significant dent in the operations of the Desta Street gang that is believed to be responsible for a large numbers of murders in Westmoreland. The police said they have so far charged 17 alleged members of the gang under the Criminal Justice Suppression of a Criminal Organization Act of 2014, popularly called the Anti-Gang Legislation. So you say, viewers and sub, this gang has been in operation for many years, but now the police, they have get the source and get the information about them. They have known all the members, but now they only need six because from the shooting that did happen in Westmoreland where several people were killed, from that time, the police had made an arrest in several members of this gang because they said this gang, they are the one who responsible for those crucial and those cruel killing of those victims. So yes, viewers. The alleged members of the Desta Street Gang joined the similarly suspected members to two other criminal outfits, the on the, the Hun Hens Wilson Gang and the Klansman Gang, to be broadly before the courts under the anti-gang legislation. Six other alleged members of the Desta Street Gang are still at large, three of whom are believed to have fled overseas. The police said at press briefing in Kingston on Wednesday, CTAC officers said an ongoing feud between members of the Desta Street Gang and other criminals from Westmoreland led to the dramatic killing of seven persons, including a two-year-old child in the Grange Hill area of Westmoreland and a few weeks ago. The police said they have since increased their presence in the parish and have warned that they will not ease up until criminals wrecking havoc in the parish are arrested. The police indicated that a shipment of 19 guns and nearly 4,000 rounds of assorted ammunition which was intercepted at the Port King in Kingston last November was destined for the Desta Street gangs. So viewers and sub, as I see, you know, remember that big gun shipment where they did find where they did say that come from the US where the police then did find the guns them. You understand? So people, they must say right now, these guns were coming straight to this gang, straight to them. The arms and ammunition were found in a freezer at the port. CTAC head, assistant commissioner of police, Fitz Bailey, said the detection and interception of the shipment of guns to the gang was what had was what landed the unit so sentinel centrally on the police radar as an organized criminal network. Bailey said four alleged members of the gang who were arrested late last week bring to 17 the number of suspected members of the gang who are now in custody. The group includes 13 males and 4 females. They were pulled in during a number of police operations last week. They are all, all scheduled to soon appear in the home circuit court in downtown Kingston. Bailey said the man who is believed to be the leader of the gang, the main source of its funding, remains at large. He was identified as Shaden Patrick Robinson, otherwise Kyle, called Gargan. So say people where the man called Gargan and them say this man, him is the one who responds for the funding. Him is the one who supply all the money. And it is said that this man is also a business man as well. Bailey said Robinson, who was charged with murder, was granted bail and, had, and is believed to have fled to the United States. He said two other alleged members of the gang who are wanted are also believed to have fled to the U.S. They are O'Shane Rankine, also called Shaba, and Juwayne Barnes, otherwise called Spenshell. So viewers and sub, as you can see, you know, a lot of times, members of the police force, 
and security forces of Jamaica have wanted several gang members and they are thinking that these men may be in Jamaica or they're somewhere close. But these men are nowhere near Jamaica. These men have managed to go through airport and go through the system and even landing in the Caribbean and even in the USA, which is so hard for many Jamaicans to reach. So, viewers and sub, this is what has been happening. But as the police say, most of the gang members have been captured. You understand? So the 13 that the, the 17 that them capture and six more on the run and they said that three have managed to be overseas. So only three the thing is on the island of Jamaica. So right now the security forces are working and them say them not stop until them catch all these members from the Desta Street gang. So viewers and sub, this is New Link Production and New Link is here to give you the breaking news and what's happening and what's going on in Jamaica. And please don't forget for God to subscribe. And when you do subscribe, please hit that notification button. So as New Link Production drop a video, you will automatically see it pop up on your screen. And viewers and sub, this is New Link Production and New Link has said, straight attack, attack. Viewers and sub, big up or no. Self. Yeah, viewers.